Welcome back, everybody. Guys, it is Taco Tuesday, May the 21st, and somehow, some way, we are at Odessa in Orlando in a sea of nothing but Teslas. Now, I said this a little bit after I sold the S-Class that I really wanted to get myself something different, um, and I've had my eyes on a Tesla Model 3 or a Tesla Model X for quite a while, and I've been trying to convince myself not to get one, shouldn't do it, it's a terrible idea, why would I ever wanna do that? And now here we are. Now the Tesla market is, uh, is bizarre, don't get me wrong. It's very hard to figure out, uh, very hard to figure out the pricing on these specifically, it is, it's weird, right? KBB says trading is one thing, Carfax says another, MMR says one other thing, it's just crazy to me, absolutely insane. But I think the value that you get out of this car really compared to a lot of other vehicles is wonderful. And not only that, what I do for a living requires me to be, well, in the car most of the time. And it would be really, really nice to have a vehicle that uh, I don't have to put gas in, a vehicle that potentially could drive itself. It'd be nice, it would be nice. So, that being said, we are looking at Model 3s. I don't really know if I like the Model 3s. Maybe you guys let me know in the comment section down below. I'm not all that wild about the 3s. But, I will say that the Model X is one that, in particular, I kinda sorta have the hots for. Not a bad looking car though. I don't know. We're gonna see. The Model X is kind of why I'm here. The Model X to me seems like it is the most bang for your buck. But we're about to find out. Right now we have to look at D213. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you exactly what this car is. And uh, you're gonna see the car for yourself. All right, here's the car in question. It is a 2000, I believe this is an 18, 2018 Tesla. 75d model x and here's what's weird then scans to 75d okay but it says 100d let's see here i'm pretty sure this is the one oh no don't tell me it's locked up is this car really locked up no 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 okay good good not locked up wonderful 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 not gonna lie, this is kind of badass. Whoa. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I don't love this. Okay, so for point of reference, right here, let's see if I can try to bring the camera back. Like, this is right in your line of sight. Weird. Let's turn on the AC because it is hot as hell in here. Okay. Screen is in good shape. I've noticed that about a lot of these. All these screens like to mess up let's go to software autopilot standard connectivity blah 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 blah. let's see here let's go to maybe service uh, ba, 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 ba. charging vehicle okay I'm trying to find where it shows how much warranty is left on here but it's not saying anything additional vehicle information let's see okay so it really doesn't have much the ac is nice and cold in here though i'll say that oh yeah ac is ice cold in this car i don't know this car is this car is pretty freaking impressive guys i did not think i'd be a tesla guy hardly well i really didn't think i'd be a tesla guy at all but truth be told to me this is a really impressive car this is honestly kind of badass. I don't know. Now, I don't know if you guys can uh, can tell me more about this than I know, but for some reason I cannot seem to figure out warranty on this thing. Ooh, I don't love that. There's like a big humming. Like a really crazy humming going on in this car. Oh, it's just a cooling fan. It's trying to keep the thing cool. And this is pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie, this is nuts. And this car is very impressive for what it is. I can hear cooling fans going off quite a bit. Come on, open up. 
open up for me. That's not the thing. Okay, not bad. So it does, it does the trick real well. I don't know, guys. Maybe I'm a Tesla guy. I'm not entirely sure. Outside is really, really, really sharp though. Gotta be honest, no crazy dings, dents, no nothing. So, I'm gonna keep fooling with this computer here and seeing if I can find where it shows me. All right, that might be the thing that sells me. The doors opening and closing automatically. All right, so we're gonna check and see what is going on with this thing and see if I can figure out Warranty, battery, everything. Guys, let me know in the comment section down below. Would you drive one of these? Now, these are really hard cars to figure out on price, but I'm thinking this one should be right around 17, 18 grand. I think that's probably where we should be. So, let's get after it. We're gonna try to see if we can figure out. We're gonna try to see if we can figure this out. But who knows? Stay tuned. All right, guys, with the power of YouTube magic bestowed upon us, we have went from Odessa of Orlando Technically, it's Sanford to Mannheim Central, right? This is the sale, if you guys remember, that hosts hundreds of bank repos. Now, part of my concern with buying this Tesla is the market shifting on, I would say, the general public's stomach for electric vehicles. Now, just because I have my own channel doesn't mean I don't watch other people's. There's a uh, guy, Lucky, that has commented about this a lot. And I don't think he's wrong. Same time though, if I could get that Model X for say 17, 18 grand, I feel like it's kind of like a no lose situation. If it's reached a, like a shelf, you know, I could always get out of that car. But if I go and buy one for big, big money, I think that's where the scaries come in. You know, where you say, okay, well you bought this thing for 40 grand now it's adjusted by 10% or whatever it is. So, I don't know. But, I think we have our Ford Explorer coming up right now. So we're gonna check it out, along with some other vehicles. And hopefully, if we have our timing right, we'll be able to make it back to the shop before the sale even starts. All right, so I wanted to take this opportunity to kind of show you guys what makes, I guess, a dealer like me different versus other people. So when I see a vehicle with problems, I don't see it as a, well, somebody would still buy it. I more or less approach it from a perspective of, I just don't have to buy it. I don't have to own it. Really, no one's slapping this thing in my lap saying, you must buy this car. And unfortunately, this car in particular, you know, has timing chain noise that goes away, but I know it's there. So it's like, eh, I think I'm just going to skip it. It just doesn't make any sense to me. So as much as I do want that car, I also do not want to screw any of my potential customers. I just don't think I need to, I don't think I need to own that car. I can live without it. So we're getting through our list now. I'm not seeing a whole bunch of amazing stuff here, guys, but I'm hopeful. Right now we're sitting in a Mazda 6. It's a stick. I didn't know they actually made Mazda 6s and a stick shift. Did not know that even existed. Pretty cool car. What we've got to do now is we've got to wrap up because we have to go back to the shop to bid on vehicles. There's really not a lot out here at the sale that I even love, but we at least got to come out here and try it out for ourselves. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're just out here, testing them out, making sure they're not absolute junk. And then we're going home. So, guys, stay tuned because in the next clip, we're going to be at D&D Service and Sales and hopefully, hopefully the proud new owner of a Tesla Model X. But we're going to have to trust Air Force None, which I don't know how crazy I am about that, but we're going to see. Trust Air Force None to bid on this car and not screw us. But I think Chris can handle it. So... Let's head back in. All right, so there is the 18 long range. I just realized something. 
got the 18 model X. The range, expected range is 206. Brand new. Brand new, they only did 238 miles. That's not really, not really ideal. That one will do right around 230-ish miles of range, but I really don't want a model 3, so... We're going to see, but these cars really are not bringing the money that I thought they would. Like, this one up here, this blue 2020, sold for 20000 And they were saying that that vehicle was worth, let me see here. Oh, it disappeared. They were saying that car was worth 23 or 24 So I'm curious. We're going to see here in just a minute what this thing actually sells for. Who knows? All right, so... The Model 3 went for way too much money, but that's not what we're here for anyway. We're here for the Model X. Now, it's interesting that they claim this is a 75D, but the screen, the dash, the back of the vehicle, everything says 100D. So I'm not too sure what's up with that, but we're about to find out. Let's see what happens here. Here it is right there. Come on. Let's see what we got. I'm thinking 18. 18, I think I'd pull the trigger. Let's see. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Why? How does this even make any sense? <laughs> This is, <laughs> this is insane. 25,000 dollars. Just for reference here. Hold on. There's a uh, you, you could go and buy one on the street. I'm, I'm blown away, blown away. 27550 2550. Mind you, guys, hold on. Let's go to Carfax. Guys, that is your retail value based on 50 miles. Because it hasn't updated. What says you, Air Force None? He doesn't have an opinion. All right, guys, we are back at Casa de Dayak. Unfortunately, as you guys just saw, we are not proud owners of a Tesla Model X or any other Tesla product for that matter. Mannheim Central was a wash. We tried and, you know, we just, we didn't buy anything. The prices were just way too high on the units that we were interested in. And, you know, for me on say something like that Tesla, the market is just too volatile for me to want to go through and take a big risk on something that potentially has downside, not just minimal upside, but genuine downside. So for now, we're gonna weigh our options, see what these cars are really transacting for, and then go from there. I'm still very tempted by my friend's Tesla that he has for sale. I'm like, I'm right here. Like I'm ready just to say, forget it, and just like write the check and be done with it. But I'd really like to take the time to really see if that's what I want to do, because as much as part of me is saying, okay, well, uh, you know, just go write the check and quit being a cheap bastard. The other side of me is saying, well, what happens if the market corrects on these and you end up losing thousands of dollars? I'm just, I'm not entirely sure. So with that being said, guys, we are going to wrap up today's video. Sorry for the intermission yesterday, but yesterday was a little weird. We had a very busy day. We ended up selling two cars today. It was just, it was hard to keep up with and still make content. So on our agenda for tomorrow, I'm like 50-50, we are damn near out of cars, so I may go to Dealer Auto Exchange in Tampa. I'm just not too sure. I don't know. We gotta look at that list tonight and see how it really looks. So in the meantime, guys, I want you to be well, stay safe, and we will see you in tomorrow's video. Talk to you all soon. Ciao.